the east coast of the United Arab Emirates. The sea has always been a source of revenue and sustenance for the residents of this picturesque coast. The coast of Fujairah, where tradition coexists with modernity. Fujairah's strategic location has seen it rank as the second largest bunkering center in the world, next to Singapore. Today, the location has gained more significance with the commissioning of the Adcorp oil pipeline, which can deliver 1.8 million barrels of oil a day, from the western regions of the UAE straight to the rim of the Indian Ocean, about 70 miles outside the choke point of the Straits of Hormuz to Fujairah. The United Arab Emirates has been blessed with visionary leadership and political stability that has spearheaded the nation into unprecedented progress and growth. The Port of Fujairah. The port for all reasons. The port for all seasons. The Port of Fujairah controls one of the busiest anchorages in the world. Fujairah's exceptionally calm waters and proximity to the shipping lanes, which carry almost 40% of the world's seaborne oil, have also contributed to transforming this location into a one-stop logistical marine supply point. There is even a seafarer's support vessel, the only one of its kind in the world, that serves the anchorage. This is a 24-hour port with a comprehensive range of offshore maritime services, including spares, ship chandling, repairs, refurbishments, and crew changes for the 12,000 vessels calling annually at the anchorage. The port of Fujairah is the only multi-purpose port on the east coast of the UAE. The 1400 meters main berth, along with the 900 meters of the southern breakwater berth, cater to cruise liners, bulk carriers, general cargo, container ships and other vessels. The aggregate berths are installed with two bulk loaders, having a combined loading potential of 6,000 tons per hour. State-of-the-art tugs, crew and pilots are all managed by the port to ensure the highest level of quality and safety standards. Fujairah's importance as an oil trading hub is reflected by the increasing number of storage facilities being constructed in the Emirates. When we started the company Vopak Horizon in the late 90s, we constructed 400,000 cubes of storage capacity and we've been growing ever since. There has not been a single moment that we were not constructing tanks and in the meantime we have grown up to 2.1 million cubic meters that we operate today. And with the land available, there is more room for expansion in the future. I think the future of Fajara as an oil trading hub is um, very strong. I think the uh, possibilities to continue to expand the base that has been established there is immense. Uh, the Port of Fajara has made a big commitment to provide world-class infrastructure that uh, is there on the ground today with a commitment to continue to expand that. And on the back of that we're seeing a myriad of, of international companies such as ourselves who are willing to continue to invest in Fajara. Increasingly, the oil community regard Fajara as the interim storage location. Onshore storage currently stands at 6 million cubic metres. This will increase to 8 million cubic metres by the end of 2014. The port currently operates a total of seven dedicated oil berths, complete with the required topside facilities. Terminal 1, or OT1 as it is commonly known, has three berths, totaling 840 metres, with a draft of 15 metres. 
It accommodates tankers up to 110,000 tons dead weight. The second oil terminal, OT2, has four berths, totaling 1,500 meters with a draft of 18 meters. OT2 accommodates tankers up to 180,000 tons dead weight, with one berth accommodating VLCCs partially laden. All oil berths are fitted with quick-release hooks and firefighting systems. A master plan involving an additional 11 to 12 berths has been drawn up, and two berths are under construction. Fujera's strategic location has led to the desalination plant in Kitfa, using the Indian Ocean rather than the Inner Gulf. The modern grain storage discharge and load facilities, part of the UAE's strategic grain reserve project. An LNG project under construction by Emirates LNG and the Abu Dhabi Crude Oil Project, ADCO. The project has three single-point mooring buoys for deep water tanker loading. And work is underway to build a refinery with a capacity of 200,000 barrels per day, complementing the project. Having a pipeline uh, from Abu Dhabi to Fujairah uh, yields a lot of advantages. The main thing is that uh, the tankers do not need anymore to enter uh, a very special area, the Gulf area. They will uh, save sailing time. The effect to the environment uh, will be beneficial. Plus the fact that uh, a lot of uh, business is expected to develop off Fujera, which was earlier done inside the Gulf. In that respect, we see an increase in business uh, in the agency, in the crew changes, in all the marine-related services, plus as well, of course, in uh, the bunkering and oil trading business. Fujaira has already achieved a, one of the top slots as a bunkering hub port. And over the last few years, it has already become a major oil trading hub. Now, with ADCOP terminal coming in with crude oil line from Hapshan, and a future IPIC refinery proposed in Fujaira. Fujaira will be a major energy hub of this region. It's not only business that attracts investors and visitors to Fujaira. The tourism industry has seen world-class resorts spring up along the Fujaira coast. The government's policy of encouraging a diversified commercial base has led to a thriving and growing community, supported by a free zone. The United Arab Emirates has a sophisticated and growing structure of roads, ports and airports. Plans are underway for a nationwide railway network. Growth under a wise leadership is assured, and as the sea has always been a player in the daily lives of the people, the port of Fajera will continue to play a significant part in that growth. The port of Fajera. The port for all reasons. The port for all seasons.